Well, first of all, just I couldn't be more proud of our kids. And that's that's how you play. If you're the fifth ranked team in the country and, and you're supposed to be, then that's how the fifth ranked team in the country plays. And I couldn't be more proud of them. These two right here played so hard defensively today. Uh, Shea Holly did an unbelievable job on what I think is one of the best guards in our league, if not the best guard. Um, you know, Caitlin's really good. Like, she's a monster. And to go out there and defend her like we did and like Shea did. And Shay will tell you, we had, you know, we had a really good focus as a team and, and tried to do some things to, to really limit. But she had the primary focus of her. And, uh, man, y'all don't know much about our team or my team, but this team is so special. They've, they've had to endure so much, um, you know, from losing Rory to Taylor being out to Gaston being out twice. Gaston's finally getting healthy. She's back today six for six and just played really, really good. Um, but it's, in my mind, it's a God thing, y'all. Like, this team is just an unbelievable error. God sent to me, and um, uh, we'll give God the glory for number 26, 26 and three. And um, just, uh, you know, get ready for, obviously, a, a, a real big one on, on Wednesday night uh, on the road. But this group is special. And for y'all, I know y'all haven't seen them, but they've done it, you know, in some uh, all year when people probably didn't give them a chance. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things where um, – you can go one of two ways, and, and uh, you can either buy into all the, oh, my God, and y'all can't do it, and just hang in there and all that, or it can become your finest hour. Like, this is our finest hour in my mind, what these kids are doing. Like, they chose to be great. We always talk about elite as a choice. They chose to be elite. They chose not to listen. They chose not to... Um, not to give in, um, and to be where they are today, uh, it doesn't happen unless you really, really honor the game, because the game will get you if you don't, and we talk about it all the time, the game honors toughness, I'm going to tell you, this group is a tough, tough group, they're led by a freshman who in my mind is the best in the country, but she's absolutely not only a freshman All-American, she's an All-American in general, um, She's had to, again, y'all don't know, but she's had to move over from a wing to running our point. Our kids have embraced her at that position, and she's just been so special for us. Her, her family with Daddy was able to be here today with a cousin, and uh, so it's just been a, you know, to see them play like they were so connected, I thought, the first half. Man, they were, they're deep in, we had like four shot clock violations defensively. We took them deep into the shot clock on some other possessions. So, guys, y'all don't know. Y'all know we don't. You don't do that standing around in a two-three zone playing hope you miss defense. And uh, these kids just continue to play and, and and do it the right way. And in my mind, the game's honoring them. You know, and uh, the good Lord's blessing us. Coach, you mentioned this is number twenty-six. Uh, your tenth season with twenty-six wins, too, by the way. But uh, obviously, the big uh, really? point. Yeah, you <laughs> You mentioned uh, the uh, the uh, importance of the defense in this game. Obviously, the second quarter jumps out, holding UCF to four points. Yeah. What was it you saw in particular in that quarter that um, your players took advantage of to, to get that? I think it was twenty three to four with the yeah. Game, so. I, I thought we were connected. You know, I just thought we had really good focus. Shaley was super active today defensively, um, but I, I just thought we were real connected. We had a real understanding of the game plan of what to do. We had talked about our concerns about what you know they do well and we had to take that away and um, I just thought when you when we watched them that second quarter especially man they were just so connected the chemistry was really good we had people in the right place on the floor it was just they were really good and um, and so um, when you play like that versus the way we did the third quarter and came out and we were a little a little slow, a little sluggish, and uh, but you know when you play like we did that second quarter, man, it's special. That's fun for me. I mean, that's you know I, I like I like seeing kids play their guts out and play hard, and especially guard. And um, again, I thought it started with these two. 
I thought they were super today, super active, in the right place. Um, our ball screen defense was really good that quarter. Third quarter, not so good. We had a hard time getting our, our bigs out to hedge in the third quarter. But, um, you know, other than that, I, I thought we were really, really connected today. Really intentional. We talk about being intentional. Every possession, we were really intentional. I thought offensively we executed. Only had 11 turnovers. We shot. I'm going to have to use my glasses. We shot 64%. Like, that's execution, y'all. And we took good shots. I mean, we didn't even get a shoot around here. Like, they're never going to want to have a shoot around on game day ever again. <laughs> I mean, we didn't get a shoot around here at all. Early game, we talk about, man, that early game, that's a sleepy game. A sleepy team loses. And we weren't sleepy. They got up this morning. They had a good breakfast. We had a good walkthrough. Our managers, y'all, taped down the floor in the ballroom of a court. I mean, and I'm t from the Big 12 insignia in the lane to UCF on the baseline, everything. It was top notch. And, but again, elite is a choice. That's our whole program from managers to players. But our players, when you walk in and see that at breakfast, you go, okay, that's pretty important. You know, that they would take the time, because I was in there watching film last night while they were over there moving tables and putting the tape down. I even got up. They made the lane out, and it was too narrow. I said, hey, guys, that lane's too narrow. They said, well, Coach, how long is that? I go, I got it and walked it off for them. Then I told Mason, I said, Mason, go on Google and find out how long the length of the deal is. <laughs> well, he, while he was doing I went, look, here's about the rim. And I walked 15 feet to the other end of the free throw line. I mean, it was cool, you know. But attention to detail, that's our program. That's what we pride ourselves on, and that's what these kids have been so good about. Thank you for sharing that, Coach. Uh, Shane Shaley, I'd have to ask you, too. We've already talked about having to shut down Caitlin Peterson. It was a big part of UCF's offense. You being perimeter player, that, a lot of that fell to you. What was it you feel like that you guys did that, that worked to make that happen? You know, she has, uh, she has I think it's 14 on, on, on the sheet there, but a lot of misses uh, from the field there. What you guys do? Kind well, of we may have to her. play them again, so she's going to be real careful. She's just going to tell you we played really hard. <laughs> we, played, we played really hard, and we focused on it being a team effort. She's really good, so it's not like one person can necessarily shut her down. So it was definitely a team effort. Taking away driving lanes, uh, trusting help, our he like our bigs hedging, all of that was definitely part of it. So, yeah, it was a That's team good. effort for sure. Yeah, and we also wanted to focus on charges, too. I think we got seven as a team, so... Most we've had all year. I've been really challenging this group because we're not, that's not our, been our forte, which typically is of my teams. But I thought today, you know, we had five at halftime. I think we got seven for the game, including my big five player took one. I don't know if she accidentally ran into it. <laughs> <laughs> Old Taylor Jones stuck her nose in there and got one, and we were all fired up over there about that. You mentioned you mentioned kind of the defensive game plan. How much energy did forcing the turnovers? I think they, I think UCF had ten in the second quarter, twenty one for the game. How much did that kind of charge the offense to, to give you guys the, the cushion? And you know, you guys are a strong offensive team anyway, but to, to build up build up that lead. Yeah, I feel like it makes it more fun. I feel like it brings more en energy to the game. So once we you know get those charges, get those steals, um, it just brings more energy and excitement to the game. Yeah, we always say it starts on defense, so that's always going to be like our main focus. We love when we can get. Offense from the defensive end, so yeah, always a focus. This one's pretty good in the open floor. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you get her in the open floor now; she's she's unselfish to a fault sometimes, and uh, she can make some pretty good decisions. Had five assists today and shot it well. Um, she's just been she's been as solid as they come. Well, and my as I was going to ask you, there were some places like you're a long team in general, but you and the forwards had to battle UCF's bigs. What was unique? Um, battling that group, and what do you think worked for you guys tonight doing that, or today doing that? I mean, Jared Berry, we had a physical group, um, really just battling down stuff uh, like in the paint. But what worked for us today was just our team identity, which is team defense. Like, especially second quarter, it was all team defense. We got out in the open court and ran. And that translated to buckets. Uh, just this whole game was just as a team, just being united. Like, nobody was on their own island. We all had each other back. We all had, like, had each other. You know, like, just like every turn, like, we were in help. We were taking the charge, denying. So, I mean, just being a team, just playing throughout the game. Well, and since you're here to represent the front court, Taylor Jones had a big game herself as part of this whole team stuff. What was that like to watch her execute today? 
it's just fun just seeing it up close, especially Taylor Jones. Really all of them just battle and <laughs> do great down there. Um, it's very rewarding just seeing it, just like just like looking from the point. They were 12 them. for 12 today. Our I know, shoot. just seeing them just be successful like that just, you know, makes the point better. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm, glad, <laughs> I'm glad you guys mentioned the concentration on the charging because when Taylor took the charge, I've never seen a bench erupt quite like, like that. I mean, was that? I mean, it's obviously a focal we, point. We think it's her like only charge like in her career. <laughs> so it's like, well, thank you. Yeah. We've been challenging her to do that, so it's nice yeah. to see. <laughs> hey, baby steps. Trust me. That's that a baby step. You guys jumped out to a big lead, and then UCF was able to battle back. What was the feeling then, um, and then going in and dominating the rest of the way? Well, I mean, I I really expected a knockdown dragout today. Uh, I think we didn't have the knockdown dragout as much just because of these kids. Like, they just, they were phenomenal. Like, these kids played so well today on the road. Again, we didn't get to get in and shoot a lot. We did have... Uh, 40 minutes last night that we came in and again these kids are pros like when they come in on the night before we're not out there playing you know grab whatever you know <laughs> we're out there we're pretty intentional about what we're doing and um, and then I love we've started this day of game getting in early and getting shots Booker and Gisela come out first these two are out and again, they're not standing around just shooting threes. They're getting game shots. So I fully expected that first quarter. And, you know, we got out to a little lead that uh, I think uh, Caitlin actually made two threes in that mm -hmm. run. It was only two shots she made the whole half. She was two for ten at half. And again, you expect that. The kid's great. She's a great player. She's going to be all conference. But then the way we responded in the second quarter was just – that's how good this team can be. Like, again, y'all y'all don't know this, but, like, Rory Harmon is, is – she's the best two-way guard in the country. When she went down, there were so many people that probably didn't give this, this team a chance. But I did. I knew that Booker could do what she's doing. I've seen her. I've watched her for, since she was a baby, seventh, eighth grade. So I knew she could do it. Um, I know what these two are made of right here. You know, you don't ever want to ask, underestimate what's inside somebody's breastplate. You don't do it. And these kids just, they just are tough, man. They're competitors. They're going to be so good in life. Um, but they're winners. And they've embraced the position we've been put in, and they've made the best of it. And... I can tell you, it's just, like I said, it's a God thing in my mind, but it's also I give them all the credit because I've watched them every day. I've watched how they've gone to work. I've watched how they've wanted to get better. Booker's gone from that first game where we had to get her out against Baylor in the first five minutes because she wasn't quite comfortable to. Now I don't ever take her out unless she's in foul trouble, <laughs> which she was today for the second time. I've had a talk with her. <laughs> but other than that, you know, you have to give these kids so much credit for where we are today, y'all. Like, you just, you know, this team was put together and built for this, and they're doing it without literally w what was our first heart. I liken it to open heart, to quintuple, sir, quintuple bypass. We had a major heart attack, losing Lord. We've had to rewire the heart of our team. And these kids now are the heart of our team. This is the heart of our team. When they play, you win with guard play in basketball. You ain't got guard play, you have all the size in the world. You ain't winning. This is my guard play. You win with guard play. And as long as these three show up every night, we'll have a chance to win every night. And so, again, you have to really admire uh, who they are, what they've done. And um, they just continue to do it. And I promise you this, they'll have a good day off tomorrow, and they'll come back Monday, and they'll be, they'll be pretty focused. They'll, be, they'll, be, they'll pretty, be pretty intentional again because they know what's at stake and, and where we're at.
Well, Coach, as the son of a, of a cardiac nurse, that was a good analogy, definitely, that you got all that right. But uh, the last one for me is obviously you got two more games uh, to wrap up your final Big 12 season here at, uh, at uh, Texas. And um, you got Oklahoma uh, on the docket next and closing out with uh, BYU, I believe. Yep. Had a good night tonight. How did you build on that to try to finish strong? You know, I, I think, again, it's confidence, you know, with the team, and especially this time of year. This, these kids ought to be really confident. Like, we've been through some, some battles and some wars. But um, at the same time, that, I don't think I'm going to have to motivate. Somebody asked me something about, um, maybe it was in a pregame, about them maybe being having some being lackadaisical or apathy. I don't know what it was, but it, like I, 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 these kids are focused and motivated. Like they know what's down the road. They know what's at stake. They playing. They're playing for a lot, y'all. They've got we've got conference championships in front of us. We've got seedings. You've got a lot on the line, and so. I don't think I'm going to have to get their attention. No matter what happens in the next few weeks, these kids know what's in front of them. And, uh, and that's where you want to be as a coach. You want kids that are motivated, that are mature, um, and that are driven. And I think all of our, our team right now is, is that. And then so, again, in my mind, when I walk off that floor tonight, we beat – like, I don't know how they've only won three games in the league. I think that's right. They've won three. Like, they're really good. A lot of last-second buzzer yeah. beaters. Yeah. Like, Satia's doing a great job with them. Like, Carrie's a hell of a coach. She's got over there with her on the side. Like, they're going to be fine. We beat a really good team today, in my mind. And we, we beat them the way we did just because these kids really were good today. They were really focused. And if they play like that, and I will remind them of this. If they play like that every night, we'll be playing for a while. Thanks, everyone. All right, praise the Lord. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, coach. Thank you.